Oh, a lot of clouds here, just an array of landscape as you look at the satellite loop over the last three hours. And we've got mid and high level clouds marching on through all associated with the weather system that moves across the area and it's already bringing some returns on radar with it. I'll show you that in just a moment, but the big takeaway for the morning with this cloud blanket overhead. I always talk about this kind of nature's blanket, if you will, really showing off what it's doing here in South Lake Tahoe. 30 degree jump in the temperature this morning at the South Shore. You can see the contouring there, some of the darkened orange and even around Tuolumne County this morning, you're waking up and it feels much more milder than it did this time yesterday. Back to the radar scan. Last three hours been active across parts of the Sierra and down parts of the West Slope. Again, this is all very, very light and even Doppler is kind of showing off how broken apart these light isolated showers are. Very light snowfall, even some flurries for the most part as you get into western Plumas County, just outside of Quincy around Donner Summit reports there that the road and the tracks wet, but things are not actually sticking and accumulating as far as snowfall goes. And I don't expect we're going to have any accumulating snowfall for today. Maybe just a dusting up at the top South Lake Tahoe down and through Kirkwood. Yeah, a couple of passing light snow showers. It's going to be an overcast start to the day with some showers for the Sierra as we go through the afternoon even and temperatures overall will be warming up as we get into the back half of the week and looking into the holiday weekend. Futurecast showing off. This is your Tuesday landscape at 8 o'clock. Starting to see more of the clouds kind of break up at least across the valley. We'll have a little bit more in the way of maybe some sunshine later in the day. Then once we look ahead to the uh, evening, a couple of showers here along the north coast and maybe a couple of showers around Butte County. Then notice as we go into tomorrow morning, I do expect there's a chance we have more fog start to set up. This model's not doing the best job showcasing that, but there's a chance the fog could return and then we have more clouds racing in as we go through Thursday, but notice these clouds not producing any rainfall. So the seven day forecast remains dry and looking ahead at things. We could see temperatures in the upper 50s by Friday, Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Depending on the fog, guys, we could see temperatures moving into the low 60s. Then beyond that, beyond Christmas into next week, looks like we return to more of a wet pattern. Boy, which we need would anything. Be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Sure. All right. Thank